Okay, now we're going to try a division problem using decimals. So, the original problem, oops, sorry guys. The original problem is 7, or 227 and 5 tenths divided by 7. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it. And now I'm going to work it out. So, 7 cannot go into 2, but it can go into 22 three times. Okay, and then I subtract, and I get 1. Now, the next step is to bring down the 7 to make it 17. 7 will go into 17 two times. 2 times 7 is 14. And then I subtract, and I bring down the 5. 7 will go into 35 five times. Now, in blue right there, which I forgot to mention at the beginning, I always, always, always move up the decimal. I try to do it first. Um, I forgot to mention that, but always move up the decimal first because you might forget and then your answer will be incorrect because it doesn't have a decimal point in it. So dividing decimals is very similar. The only thing you have to be conscious of is moving the decimal point. If you have the decimal point in the dividend and the divisor, then you need to move it the same number of times. Now, some pointers that I'm going to write out to the side is remember that you never have a remainder when you're dividing with decimals. Another thing to remember is that if, for instance, in this problem, it came out evenly to where I didn't need to keep going. But if you did need to keep going, you can add what's called a magic zero. So you could put a zero up here, for example, and then bring it down and keep going until you get an answer. And the last pointer is to move the decimal up, always. You should have a decimal in your answer. Um, so you're going to work on a few problems that have a decimal and a whole number.